Hi, and welcome to the Clarity PPM, Installing and Configuring, Jaspersoft video. In this video, you will learn, how to set up your Jaspersoft 7.1 reporting server for the on-premise flavor, of Clarity PPM 15.5.1. CA PPM, has been rebranded, as Clarity PPM. While this video, was originally created, for CA PPM 15.5.1, it is also valid for, Clarity PPM 15.6. Refer to the advanced reporting section to know the prerequisites, access rights, tutorials, other configuration details for Jaspersoft. Ensure you view the release notes to learn about the hardware and software compatibility for Jaspersoft. Let's start, by logging into the CA support website and selecting Download Management. Let's search for the on-premise, CA Clarity PPM application. Let's click the Product Downloads section. Select the latest version of CA Clarity Creator User License Multiplatform. Let's click the link to view the downloadable assets for PPM 15.5.1. The Jaspersoft Studio is used to create custom Jaspersoft reports. In our present scenario, we will be downloading and using the CA Business Intelligence Jaspersoft Report Server. We have already downloaded Report Server ISO file for Jaspersoft 7.1 and mounted it. We are using a freeware called Virtual Clone Drive to mount the file. Please check with your IT administrators in case they recommend any specific software to mount the ISO files. Let's create a separate directory, in the C drive called Jasper. Copy the Tomcat 8.5.3 folder, from the mounted temp location to our Jasper folder. Extract the file contents. After the extraction process is complete, delete the zip file. Next let's install Java under the Java folder, on the C drive. The installer then prompts you to enter the location, for installing Java Runtime Environment or JRE. We recommend that you don't install Java and JRE in the same folder. Let's continue the installation without changing the JRE installation path. The Java installation is now complete. Next, we will install Jaspersoft. We have already created a temporary folder on the desktop. Let's copy the Jaspersoft installer and paste it there. Let's extract the contents of the installer. The Jaspersoft installation fails if the folder name is too long or includes a space. Let's also verify that the Java home variable is pointing to the relevant Java installation. Let's navigate to the temporary folder and launch the command prompt. Type the install command and press enter. The installer prompts us to choose between a fresh installation or an upgrade. Since we are installing Jaspersoft for the first time, let's press 1. Next, you need to specify the location of the Tomcat directory. Next, you are prompted to enter a name for the report service. Key in a suitable name and hit enter.
Let's enter the port number that will be used by the Jaspersoft server. We are using port 8090. In our current scenario, we will not specify any email address. Next, we need to choose between standalone and cluster installation. Let's select standalone installation. Next, let's enter the database host name and port number. We will now enter the Jaspersoft username and password. The last database detail we need to provide is the SID name. After this, the system checks if the connection details are correct. The installer prompts you to verify all the settings before continuing the installation, type Y to continue the installation. The installation has started and will take a few minutes to complete. The installation process is now complete. Let's go to the temporary folder and check the install log file. This file records your application directory information and database credentials. The database password is encrypted. To launch the Jaspersoft web URL, you need to start the Jaspersoft service. To do that, let's navigate to the Jasper 7 bin folder. You can see the Tomcat 8 file there. This is used when you configure Jaspersoft as a service. When you don't configure Jaspersoft as a service, just use the startup file to start Tomcat. You can specify memory allocations in this set environment batch file. We can see that Jaspersoft will currently use a minimum of 1 GB and a maximum of 2 GB of memory. Since this is a basic installation for demonstration purposes, we don't need to update these values. Let's run a startup file to start Tomcat. We can now see that the Tomcat service has started and the same can be validated from the log file. Let's go ahead and launch the Jaspersoft URL. When you launch Jaspersoft for the first time, it will take a few seconds to load. Let's enter super user in the login and password fields. You can update this username later. When we were installing Jaspersoft, we had discussed that the installer adds seeded data such as repositories, some of the repositories include organization, public, temp, and themes. When you open themes, you will see various Clarity PPM themes since Jaspersoft is embedded with Clarity PPM. If you download Jaspersoft from Tibco's website you see various out-of-the-box themes that are available with Jaspersoft. Finally let's launch the PPM Clarity System Administration to configure its integration with Jaspersoft. Let's click the server name and then open the reporting tab. Let's enter the web URL for Jaspersoft. Ensure that there is no trailing space or additional character after the web URL. When we installed Jaspersoft there was a default organization that was created during the installation process. 
When we configure Clarity PPM with an organization and run the import utility, it will create another organization in Jaspersoft. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's use Broadcom for the organization name and ID fields. When you click Save, you will see the Clarity PPM is available to communicate with Jaspersoft. Let's log out from CSA and configure PPM authentication with Jaspersoft. Launch the command prompt and navigate to the bin directory of the PPM folder. Now, we will execute the admin Jaspersoft Keystore command to generate a Keystore. The Keystore is generated in the config directory. Let's navigate to the config directory. We can see two files namely broadcom.jks and broadcom.properties here. Let's copy these files to the system where Jaspersoft is installed. Navigate to the config folder of the WebOps folder and save the Keystore files there. You don't need to shut down Jaspersoft services to perform these steps. We now need to import content so that all the Jaspersoft out-of-the-box content gets deployed. If you don't import content, you will get an error message in Clarity PPM when you try to run reports. You need these advanced reporting rights to work with advanced reporting section of Clarity PPM. Let's launch the command prompt and run the import content command from the bin directory of the PPM folder. You can navigate to the logs folder in PPM and open the admin log to check the progress of the import process. The import process can fail due to two key reasons. Firstly, a break in network connectivity between the PPM server and the Jaspersoft server can lead to failure. Secondly, if your organization is blocking REST API calls between servers, then the import process would fail. The import process is now complete. Let's log into Jaspersoft again and navigate to the organization's folder from the repository page. We can see that the Broadcom organization is available. You also get other out-of-the-box content such as reports. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.